What's up, my sweethearts? What it do? What's up, everybody? What's up, my sweethearts? What's up to my new sweethearts? Welcome. It's your girl, Jennifer M. The Rivers. My sweethearts, I'm coming back with another video. That's right. Um, J Justice for all, like always. My sweethearts, get your lighters up. Let's get it. Get your waters up. Let's get into this video. If you knew, welcome. But my sweethearts, back to the justice. Let's get it. We may run that thing like cardio. So, my sweethearts, doing this corona time, everything is down. You know, justice still don't stop. So, your girl still got to reveal it. Um, pregnant Chicago team. Chicago, what it do, my sweethearts? Stand up. Let's get it. Um, so pregnant Chicago team was gunned down after five thousand dollars bounty was placed on her head for testifying in murder trial. Prosecutors say, "I'm never shocked at that." Hank, that's what Kanika probably was going for. She was a witness in a murder. This is said Chicago. It's everywhere, but I'm just trying to say this is a sad situation. Traja Kelly, my sweethearts, had been hesitant to come forward after witnessing the murder of her 17-year-old cousin. But she found the courage to take the stand at the, la at the trial last year, she helped secure a guilty verdict. And then a $5,000 bounty was placed on her head. Cook County prosecutors said Thursday. In September, just a few months after testifying, Kelly was shot dead. Not far from where her cousin had been slain. She was 18 years old and pregnant. R.I.P. sweetheart. Now what can you like? This is sad. Especially for these young girls. You know? I mean, anybody that dies said, But young, these young girls is getting slain. Alright, y'all. Let me keep going. Uh, Kavarian Rogers later bragged that he got $5,000 for nailing a girl who testified against somebody. Prosecutors said as Rogers appeared in court on first degree murder charges. He posted Facebook videos showing off his expensive new shoes and fanning himself with $100 bills. Well, $100 bills, y'all. Prosecutors said after his arrest. He told police he knew who Kelly was and knew there was a price on her head. Rogers, 22, was ordered held without bail for Kelly's murder, which Assistant State's Attorney James Murphy described as an execution. Kelly had been the only eyewitness who testified against her cousin, accused killer, Deontay Davis. Jurors found Davis, 30 years old, y'all, guilty on June 26 of six counts of murder and a single count of aggravated battery with a firearm. He is waiting sentencing and remains in Cook County Jail. Okay, prosecutors did not name Davis in court, instead calling him as of yet uncharged co-offender. He and Rogers were members of the same faction of the Black Peace Stones, prosecutor said. Mm. Davis was recorded on phone calls from Cook County Jail talking about a female witness who testified in his trial 
wanting to find out where she is and discussing how when he gets a new trial. She can't be a witness against him, Murphy said. So they was already plotting on the girl because she was a witness. Prosecutors did not say when the calls took place or who Davis was calling. Jennifer Block, Davis' attorney, noted that he has not been charged with wrongdoing in connection with Kelly's murder. In fact, Block said she often stressed to Davis that Kelly's testimony was not reliable, which could make her a useful witness in his effort to get a new trial. Okay. So he was terrified. He was terrified. He knows my opinion is she was not harmful to his case, Blog said. <laughs> not for him. I'm going to slow up my sweethearts. But as y'all can see, not for him. He was, a, he was terrified. There was a witness. He don't care if the witness was credible. He don't care if the witness was uh, uh, not credible. There was a witness. He want the witness out of there. That's what happened. This is sad. Sad. I think they, they should go beyond for these witnesses. For these witnesses. They should go uh, give extra protection. Extra protection. Because you know if... Yo, this is just like Kanika. Why not she a witness? For something that happened in Chicago? This is crazy. They should give these young girls extra protection. If these young girls are supposed to be witnesses for big time drug dealers. Or big time criminals. These girls not safe. You don't do no rat anything. It's not safe. <sighs> this is crazy. Let me get my lighters up. That's why I got to get the lighters up. All my young babies, my young sweethearts, my, my young ones. It is sad. These young girls are dying just because they're in a, what is it called? The wrong place at the wrong time. That's exactly what it is. Because you ain't at the wrong place at the right time. Because somebody dying. So that's not the right time. You at the wrong place at the wrong time. And, my, and, and these young girls got to suffer for this. Uh, this is sad. And my thing is, if the cops, like, if y'all know this is out here, why don't y'all give extra protection? I'm going to keep saying it. That's why I said witness protection is nothing. God. Let's be honest, I had to slow up a little bit. But, yes, that's, that's exactly why these young girls getting killed. They not getting the right protection they need, <clears throat> the right security, you know? These cops know what these young guys, what these niggas about, that's they're putting them guns on you. Come on. They are not letting you walk. Seriously? Murders? She said the phone calls from the jail can only be correctly interpreted. In their full context, which prosecutors did not provide. Prosecutors described the attack on Kelly as a targeted hit. Duh. She was walking with a friend that night in September after Kelly finished her shift at a nearby grocery store. So the girl worked at a grocery store, y'all. Her friend saw Rogers in an alley appearing to... Relieve himself, peasant. And then apparently talking on the phone, prosecutor said. As the two got closer, Rogers pulled a gun from his waistband, walked around Kelly's friend, and fired directly at Kelly. Prosecutor said she was shot five times, including twice in the back of the head. To make sure she was dead. Prosecutor said. Her friend hid in the bushes nearby. And later identified Rogers as the gunman. A few weeks. My, my sweethearts. I'm sorry. That's just how it is. 
It's said with these young ones. I can't. You know what I'm saying? God. A few weeks later, Rogers began flaunting his wealth on Facebook. Prosecutors said, in one video, he fans himself with $100 bills. In another, he shows off his pricey new Yeezy shoes. Another video shows him driving past the scene of the shooting. Like, are you serious? Nigga, so you bragging? So you really bragging? Sorry, my sweet All right. Um, okay, let me keep going. At the time of Kelly's death, Rogers was out on bond on an attempted armed robbery charge record show. Rogers' attorney, assistant public defender, Theodore Thomas, say his client lives with his mother and has a two-year-old child. While Thomas said Rogers graduated from Urban Prep Academy, Urban Prep founder Tim King said, in fact, Rogers attended for two months his freshman year and then transferred. We don't give a damn. Thomas asked that Rogers be given a bond in part due to what's going on in the world. That is the novel coronavirus that has spread among detainees in the county jail. I think his ass need to be in there with the corona. You could be putting bullets in people's heads, shooting them. Ain't he about to get the death penalty? So he should be in there right with the coronavirus. Yeah. Those are the inmates that need to be in there. Um. Thank you, Jesus. Judge Murray. Uh, M-A-R-U-B-I-O, y'all. Denied the request. Get your lights up. <laughs> Citing the murder for composition. Thank you, Jesus. The judge denied him getting out. Stay in there with the corona. You can kill people. You should be in there with the death. Um, Let me see. Let me keep going, y'all. A transcript of her testimony shows she didn't wave, waver in her identification of Davis as the man with shoulder-length dreadlocks who announced what's up now before opening fire on Christopher Fields. Kelly told jurors she was about 15 feet away when David jumped out of a silver car, perhaps an Audi, when and opened fire as she, her cousin, and several friends talked outside one of their homes in the 5200 block of South San Gamon Street in the south side's back of the Yards neighborhood. This is crazy, my sweethearts. Let me slow up. Let me slow up right there. As the others took off running, Kelly then, 15, said she froze with fear. I was in shock, she told jurors. She fled after a few seconds, but her, in her panic, stumbled and fell. While on the ground, she said she focused on the shooter as, she, as he continued to fire away. She got up and ran to the backyard of her grandmother's home on the same block waiting there until the, gun, the gunfire stopped and the car sped off. So she did see it. She did see who killed her. It was then she discovered her cousin lying face down in the street by the curve. We were very close, testified Kelly, who had called Fields to walk her from a bus stop to her home that night. It's more, my sweetheart. It is more. It's a lot more. So... I'm on, it's going to be a part two. But let me tell you something right now, my sweethearts. This young girl that was gunned down from witnessing a murder off the chain. It never stops there. I just want to give y'all some insight on another case. Of how somebody, just a young girl, just like Kanika, 
uh, Safa Kanika was murdered down. You know what I'm saying? She was murdered down, uh, set up and murdered down. This young girl was uh, uh, gunned down, you know, gunned down. So my thing is justice for all. We want this guy. Like I said, I'm so happy the judge said, hell no. You, you will not go out on the streets. Coronavirus right here with you. You will be right here with us, broski. Bring that corona up in here. Yup. You need to be right here with the corona. With our butt. We'll make you better. We'll make you... Out there, what, what makes you better? No, you need to be right here. And I'm glad he's right there. I hope they give him lot the death penalty and all that, my sweethearts. So anybody that know about the uh Chicago girl, the Chicago young girl, that said all um, yep, they young, young girls, they got gunned down. Justice for all. Do you see what I mean, my sweethearts? For $5,000? $5,000? I need... I do. I mean, somebody, I need more than that. $5,000 is nothing but a... Uh, what am I say? That's a tax pay. I need more than tax money. Are y'all serious? But like I said, it was who you go to. Like, you go to some... You go to uh, the homeless, the poor people... The, the pay handlers, they do it. Of course, $5,000 is a lot of money to someone with no money. No money, no nothing. So that's a lot of money to them. $5,000, that's a lot. Okay? So, my thing is, my sweethearts, y'all be vigilant. Be aware. Um, If y'all witness things like this young girl did, I just want y'all to be more smarter so it won't happen to y'all. Um, I don't want to be long, my sweethearts. I hope y'all be safe out here. Your girl Jennifer M. Norilla just wanted to come in and talk to y'all about the pregnant Chicago teen that was gunned down for $5,000. Testify for testifying in a murder. And I feel sorry for her and her parents. So... Till next time, my sweethearts, it's your girl Jennifer M. Norellis. Like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell to be notified. And yeah, your girl will be back with another video.